Nancy and this is my abandoned house. <laughs> Send that to Marco. <laughs> so my husband and I purchased this abandoned house about two years ago and it was in such bad condition when we bought it that we couldn't actually live in the house. There wasn't even electricity or running water. So we decided it would be a really good idea to live in this van. We lived in the van for about three months in the dead of summer while we fixed up an in-law apartment that's attached to the house which we now live in. Mm -hmm. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Hi, I'm Katie Mancy. I'm 28 years old and I live here in Baltimore City, Maryland. I live with my husband, Marco, our wonderful dog, Rocket. Hi, Rocket. He wants to go outside, but it's a trick. Uh, my brother, Chris, is filming this for me. Thanks, Chris. Oh, a little battery. <laughs> I think it would have come. I work at the Maryland Club. I'm the executive pastry chef. I've worked there for a little over six years. Um, day to day, I can do anything from breads, cookies, cakes, cupcakes, fancy plated desserts, not that fancy plated desserts, pretty much the whole gamut. Um, my absolute favorite day of work is our annual Halloween party. We do a huge party for about 550 people. Uh, I do about 650 hand decorated Halloween themed cookies. Uh, in the restaurant we serve <laughs> Halloween themed desserts. Uh, this year we did a trick or treat board. This year we did a trick or treat board where I had a bunch of cute little Halloween themed very delicious bites of food. Uh, it was a big hit. Um, the whole club gets decorated like it's a haunted mansion. We have like a really scary walk through haunted house that we do on our porch area. Uh, it's just my favorite day of work. We get to dress up. Um, we have an employee costume contest. Um, I just love all the ghouls and goblins and everything that has to do with Halloween. So that's my favorite day of work. Um, for Christmas, we start getting ready actually in August. We start making the pieces for over 200 gingerbread houses. Uh, during the month of December, every Saturday morning, we do gingerbread decorating classes for about 50 kids. Uh, it's a little intense. <laughs> Um, having to make 200 gingerbread houses is it's not an easy task, especially during you know the busiest month of the year. But I've done it six years in a row now, and I'm still around, so I must be doing something right. Need a break. So a little bit about my background. Um, I grew up baking with my grandmother Pat in her kitchen. Uh, every year we would do a huge assortment of holiday cookies and that was what she was known for giving out for Christmas presents. Um, I didn't really consider baking or cooking in general as a profession until I was about 22 years old. I was fired from a retail manager's position and I was kind of just... We're terrible at this. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> so the reason I want to be on Food Network's Holiday Baking Championship is to get money to open my own bakery. Um, it's a dream of mine and pretty much all of our money has gone into fixing this house. So I don't have any seed money for my little dream so that would definitely help. Um, the reason I think I'll win, uh, I'm extremely competitive, I'm really quick to think on my feet. Uh, a lot of my job a lot of my job is having to fix problems that come up, you know, at the worst moment. And I think I've gotten pretty good at that over the past six years. So I'm pretty confident that anything you guys try to throw at me, I could throw it right back. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna win. <laughs> I'm Katie Mancy and I'm surrounded by dog poop. <laughs> I'm zooming in. 
It's like three.